What's up, BSers? Uh, today we're working on my buddy's uh, race, uh, Hustler ZTR. It sounds like a dead cylinder to me. It's a, it's running rough. It sounds like a dead cylinder. So I'm gonna show you a trick that I use to find dead cylinders. Um, we're gonna use a glove. We're gonna use this spark plug puller. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it running. I let it warm up some, and then I'm gonna pull each side. So if I like, if I pull this side and it dies, that means that cylinder over there is dead usually. You know, that's not always exact. It also depends on the engine, but this is kind of a method. It's kind of somewhat worked for me. So let's start it up, warm it up, and and we'll, sh we'll show you what I do. As y'all can hear the... So I did it on both sides and neither one of the sides died. So we do not have a dead cylinder on this. So, um, it's not that, but I did notice, look, that pump's leaking. I had to put him a new pump on there and this gas smells old. So we're gonna change out the gas, uh, put his new fuel pump on there, new spark plugs. And see if that runs uh i had it running i mowed this whole property with it he took it home and then it stopped running on him again so we are going to change out the gas the fuel pump because that is leaking fuel right there pretty bad and probably clean the carburetor one more time sometimes you can clean the carburetor and you just don't get it good enough so Oh, and there's a grommet under here. I replaced one grommet up here, but there's another grommet somewhere up back here that I'm supposed to replace. So anyway, guys, that is a uh, quick trick to uh, find out what's wrong with, uh, if you could to find a dead cylinder. In this case, there was no dead cylinder. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Guys, I'll see you next time in the shop.